In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to add an image with text section to your Shopify homepage. On your Shopify theme, you can add a section that contains an image and a text block with an optional button that can send customers to a new page. You can use this section to focus on a specific product, collection, blog post, or anything else you wish. So let's head over to Shopify and go over how to add an image with text section to your homepage. If you haven't joined Shopify yet, make sure you unlock your free trial by heading over to jasongandy.info or simply click the link in the video description. So once you get to Shopify, go ahead and log in. This should take you to your Shopify account dashboard. To customize your theme, let's start by clicking the online store tab from the menu on the left hand side. This should take you to the Shopify themes menu. For this demonstration, I'll be using the popular Dawn theme. So to customize my theme, let's look at the bottom right hand side here and click the customize button. This will take you over to the Shopify theme editor. From the template menu on the left, let's scroll down to the bottom and click the add section tab. This will open up a menu where you can view all the different sections that you can add to your theme. From the list here, go ahead and find and select the image with text tab. And the image with text section should be added to the menu on the left. And you should also see a preview on the right. So now that I've added an image with text section, let's go over how to add my image. To add my image and adjust other customization options, let's click the image with text main tab here. This will open up a menu where I can select an image to use, adjust my content settings, and select other customization options. So let's start by adding my image. To add an image, let's go up to the top box here and click the select image button. This will open up a menu where you can view all the images that you've already uploaded to Shopify and where you can upload new images as well. To upload my image, let's go up to the top box here and click the add images button. I can then find and open up the image I want to use for my image with text section. Once you upload your image, make sure you have it selected, then click the done button at the bottom right. And my image has been added to my image with text section. For my online store, I'm going to highlight my soy wax quantum designs candle. In the next section here, you can select your image height. You want to select a height that looks best with your store, the image you're using, and the text that you plan to add. For my store, I'm just going to go with the small image. Next, you can adjust your image width. Keep the same principles in mind and select the one that looks best with your store. I think I'll stick with medium. You can also adjust your image placement, whether you want it to appear first or second, your content position, your content alignment, your color scheme, and if you keep scrolling down, you can even add an animation to your image. We have two image behavior options here, which is ambient movement and zoom in on scroll. For my store, I think I'm going to add some ambient movement. We should now notice my image calmly moving around. Feel free to adjust your mobile layout, your padding, and other settings. And once you're finished, go ahead and go back up top and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. So I've added my image and customized my layout. Now let's edit my heading. To edit my heading, let's go to the image with text drop down menu and go to the first tab, which is the heading tab here. This will take you to a menu where you can edit your heading. In the text field up top, go ahead and enter the heading that you want to use for your image with text section. For my heading, I'm going to simply type in soy wax candle. Underneath this, there's also a section where you can select your heading size. I think I'm just going to stick with medium. Once you're finished, go ahead and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. Next, let's edit what the description says underneath my heading. To do this, let's go to the image with text drop down menu and click the second tab, which is the content tab. From here, you can use the field up top to edit your content description. Feel free to write your description yourself, but if you're having trouble coming up with a description, you can now let the Shopify AI tool write it for you. To access the Shopify AI tool, go to the toolbar up top and click the generative text icon on the left here. This will open up a box where you can describe the type of text that you want the AI to generate. For my text, let's see if it can generate a good description for my soy wax candle. Once you describe what you want, you can then use the drop down menu at the bottom here to select the tone of your text. For my tone, I think I'll go with persuasive. Now that I've described my text and selected a tone, let's click the generate button and see what the AI comes up with. And like magic, the AI will provide you with three description suggestions that you can select from. Go ahead and read through the various suggestions and select the one that you like best. 
and your new description will be added to your image with text section. So let's see what the AI came up with for my soy wax candle description. It says, create a cozy and inviting atmosphere in your home with our irresistible soy wax candle. Not bad, definitely better than I could come up with. And keep in mind, if you wanted to update your AI description, you can edit it any way you like using the text field on the left here. And underneath, you can also select your text style. You have the option to select from subtitle text or body text. I'm just gonna go with body text. Once you're finished editing your content, go ahead and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. So I've updated my heading and my content. Now let's go over how to customize my button. From the image with text dropdown menu, let's go down and click the button tab. This will take us to a menu where we can edit our button label and the link where we send the customers to. In the top field, go ahead and type in whatever you want your button label to be. For my button, I'm just gonna say shop now. And from the button link field underneath, you can either paste in a link or click the field to open up a menu to select the page you wanna send the customer to. Since I'm sending customers to one of my products, let's click the products tab. From here, I can select a page where customers can view all my products or select a specific product page. So let's find my soy wax candle and select it. Now when a shopper clicks my button, they'll be taken directly to my soy wax candle product page. And if you wanted to change the style of your button to an outline, you could do that by clicking the checkbox here. But I'm gonna leave my button as a solid color. So let's go up top and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. So I've finished customizing all the different elements for my image with text section. But since it's the last section that I added, it's located all the way down at the bottom of my theme. So let's move it up my homepage a bit by going to the image with text main heading and dragging the three dots icon on the right here to move the section up my theme. This makes it super easy to rearrange your homepage however you like. So before we continue, let's use the icons up top here to make sure the section looks good on all devices. You want to make sure everything looks perfect on both mobile and on desktop. And if everything looks good, go ahead and go up to the top right and click the save button. And all of the changes that I've made have been saved. So that's a quick overview of how to add an image with text section to your Shopify homepage. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll definitely want to check out the full Shopify Dawn theme customization tutorial, which you can view by clicking the video on the screen here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.